the one that denied the Alchemist, the rune. Looks like they're going to try Stinger, Torrent, Sand King, Burrow Strike. They've got some control and disable as Kataro is forced oh. away from the rune spot. Manager. Alchemist looks like OD. he's got the bounty rune. Disruptions down and King RD lands the sleep onto the Sand King. The Torrent lands at the same time though, and they've got a Burrow Strike in two seconds' time again. King Sanko's ooh, chasing this they one down. The Salve is there though, and the ET's dropping low. Sansa right clicks him down, and that's first blood to Infamous. Getting their names up on the board, but it's still Alchemist with the bounty rune. It's still low in health, forced to run away. Poor, poor Shadow Demon. Burrow Strike's available. And even with an Astral on to one of the opponent heroes, this will be his death. King Tekka finds that, and they're going to chase onto more with a slow of the Curse of the Silent. Torrent's yeah, ready really in two, this. and they've got a Burrow Strike as well. 4DR can't cut through the trees, minus and they've got two. a two for nothing. Yep, minus two. The TP coming back in for Shadow Demon. Might go for the Vanish. Still on cooldown, actually. That's how fast he respawns. Now he gets it onto the SK. Not going to be enough damage to kill him off, though, as they turn back into the SD. They've got one point in core stick, one stick charge. Not oh, enough mana for a stun, though. The X mark back in, so a bit of danger is the last word from the Silence. We'll clear up another one. Three down on the safe lane for King Ao. Not so safe anymore. 4DR wants to play aggressively into this. Two heroes very low on HP. It's already minus six. Wow, that is a Silence's dream. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time, and then another. Minus two on the cards here as ET. There's the astral went to the stump. Max him. The X mark, and that yeah, should be a pretty elementary kill here. A cell once again getting the last hit. They're dominating. Now the refraction starts deploying. There is the axe. He did jump forward, running in, looking for a gank. The curse of the sun. Just slowing him down to a crawl. Elder Titan is going to steep the Kunker. There's so much damage going on. The TA coming back in for some action, but he's dropping low. He might actually die. He just dies to the tower. Oh no. Oh no. Tavo dropping low as well. The armlet radiant skull that we're kind of so used to seeing. This could yeah, be the battle oh, build. Battle as ET is things off. The office man is going to take a fall. Is there minus two here? Nope. The sleep comes out, but a cell. He's going to get that pick off, and now the X mark coming in, and it's just going downhill here. Infamous is striking hard at his alchemist. He's disrupted to save his life. There's another banish, but now they even tank at Barrow Strike here. There's the Mel Strike as well. A little bit more damage, and a minus two coming out again. Kunker is doing so much work here with the X mark, and 4DR out of his element there. <laughs> a cell just stealing this last. It's like he's not <laughs> another even trying. And another. another one. He steals it. Nope. Uh, no, another one. Not going to happen. The silence is now really low. He might get punished for his greed by King RD. Waiting for the spirit he, in nine seconds, a cell. He has double stolen intelligence to minutes. The travel. Contesting this farm here. Has to be careful with his axe. Going very close to Stinger. The barrel strike, going down to the low ground, but a slaughter. Oh, gonna get dunked there. And now the move speed is gonna be close enough for Stinger to close the gap there. Get the call as well, the torrent is gonna fly. It's gonna be missing completely, and the secondary dunk is gonna be found here as the axe takes out both Kunker as well as Silencer. Link Dagger is also an option though. He's got that one point in Concoction. He's you know, he leveled that up very early on to kind of apply a bit of pressure to the TA in lane. Is he really going combat alchemist though? We never know. We, we won't know until he kind of gets oh, to 3,000 gold. King starts things off, but he gets caught by that banish right away. And a nice call there from Tavo. Going to draw the lifesteal in by the 4DR taking a lot of damage. He gets pulled back there by the X mark and he actually claim his life 10 to 3 now. So. The Sanking Burrow struck to the northwest, right? And the Astral looked like he was there. The thing is, you reappear where you were traveling mm -hmm. to with the Astral. Axe thought he was going to get the call after the imprisonment, but unfortunately, off the mark, even though he did try and find the Lifestealer. So 10 to 3 now, 11 minutes in. As King Tekka is also close to his own Blink Dagger, the Sand King. Being scouted out by the Axe, and it's going to be delayed now as Tavo makes sure that he is the only man with a Blink in this game. Yep. 10 4. Bring it back up. 3-0 now. Seems really fun. Top of the net worth chart. 6,300. Alchemist in second place, but they're chasing now. King RD stunned and slowed, and it's a couple of swipes oh, there as they chomp down into the Elder Titan. Well, it's just going to be them pushing. Infest bomb down the bottom lane, but they cancel the TP and they're looking for this alchemist a little bit deeper and it might have been oh, the correct decision as it. HFN. He thought he was safe and the epicenter with a barrel strike will clear him up easily. He did manage to purchase that relic though. Oh wow, okay. So he doesn't die there because that should have been an easy one. 
And the Stinger catching up, maybe trying to chase down the Axe. Not going to get there in time, mid lane. And we'll go on to King RD and look at that Echo Saber go to work. Swipes him out and Infamous 13 to 4 now. This is getting dangerous for the Dire side, but of course, you know, we saw in the previous game, oh. Alchemist is a pretty good hero sometimes. They're coming back. Shadow Demon, though, not so much. Caught by the X into Torrent, and oh, Life Stealer eats him up for lunch. Ben Jazz, really doing so well. What really tickles me is the silence of the score. Oh, there's the Deso with the DD. They are moving towards the pit, though. And OD not going to TP, four staffs himself out of the fountain. As we watch him sprint across the mini map, the stomp and the spirit will actually scout this one out. But Kotaro decides to return back into the pit, and this might be his undoing. King RD, he scouted from the high ground, oh, is no. the combo, but equally, Sanking not going to be able to stun up the axe in the background. The global silence comes out, and Benjus does finally kill off the ET. Roshan Tap dies, up. and the contest isn't here anymore. Shadow even tries to save the axe, but in comes the boat. In comes what is going to be the response here of the TA? The TA holding on Aegis, and that's that's the main thing. You know, when you're holding on to the Aegis, the enemy has to decide if they want to blow cooldowns and compromise the position for that. Oh, now again, the Sand King just coming in and blowing someone up. I didn't even see where the other Titan went. I just saw him jump up into the sky and just die. Now, again, with that Boat Axe combo, gonna lock down the Alchemist. The Alchemist, not a chance in the world. The Kunkka finds him an easy catch as well. Stinger gonna be doing so much damage. The Axe gonna go down, unable to contest much, and now, oh, did they axe him? No, they didn't axe him. They've axed the Shadow Demon, though, further towards the yeah, south Sankings of the here. river. No, oh, he no. has destruction to buy uh, some uh, time. This is where you okay. BM. This is, this is definitely where you BM the Shadow Demon. You Sandstorm and you try and kill him with He's that. Dead. No? Minus two. You might. How much intelligence? 28. Is, oh my god. This, I, was, I was thinking that SD, 24 plus 4, he's an int hero with less intelligence. Okay, than is this the time where we jinx them and say, oh no, it looks like Infamous are going to take a landslide? I mean, that's what we did in the three. previous game, and we're the two favorites of the tournament and meeting the grand final. It was fate almost as Tarvo, still, even with that Berserker's call on him, being shredded by the Lifestealer under his own tier 2. Benjas slept up with no rage, uh -oh. and he doesn't have Aegis, remember. This might be his death. Armor toggle on. Oh, oh he's alive. He and in it. comes the Global Silence. OD under his tier 2. He's dead as well. Epicenter comes through, and Alchemist sprint away. Run, hide. The stuns are gone. HFN looks like he's okay to get away from this one. There's no... Let's see what happens in this uh, high ground push. The tier, tier 2 tower is going to start taking a hammering. I feel like this is one of those fights where the Aegis times out in mid-fight. Meanwhile, Sanking blowing up Alchemist down to the bottom lane to help the Life Stealer again. But we are focusing on the base. Does the Alchemist buy back? Yes, he does. I will really wish they will wait for this. Because if they get jumped now, never mind! As the TA jumps in there with two quick hits, might actually pick off the Shadow Demon. He does get banished there by the Odido, so he will fight another day. He's very low. He will get bailed up, but there's two of the safety spells used on to him. Oh, the Epicenter gonna start things off here. Battle Strike in, catch the OD off guard. 300 health, gets torrent up as well. He's low, but the other Titan sleeps everyone in his wake. Oh, the TA, very quick maneuvers there, keeping themselves out there. And now the Global Silence coming up. Finally there, the Amla Toggle in the midst of the Radiance. Very, very intentional. And now the Battle Strike coming across, getting OD as well as the Alchemist. Now chase back to the well. They do not have buyback. The Alchemist, the only one with buyback. He has to come back in. He has that Radiance, he has that Yasha and Kotaro behind against a physical burst lineup with TA is something can really take squishiness over the edge there and just two shot. I mean, if you just saw that fight earlier on, okay, never mind, the TA getting caught out. This could be how he dies and this is how you throw games. They lose the Templars as in the dunk comes across. The Curse of the Silent will slow the axe out from ever. And SL, you gotta blame that guy. He chaos is like a king. I mean, he was like, what, five and zero, then six oh, and two. Alchemist, disruption as well to start things off. And the Barrow Strike, though, a little bit off mark. Doesn't catch the Shadow Demon, but it's okay as this, well, the extra damage will get him. Now the Epicenter gonna be used completely on Illusions. Astral. Seeing a start here, the Udre Astral. Not sure who they've caught. It's oh, gonna be a four boss. staff. King Taki gets away. Oh, the X. They have no Astral on this OD. The torrent comes oh, through. The, the boat. boat won't land. But in comes the ET. They've killed him off. Kataro finds that one. And the chase is on. Three man slow on the trap. The OD. Astral again, not available. Lifestealer will finally join the fight. Try to take down the Outworld Devourer, who can four staff now up into the high ground with a TP away. That's a really Bash. nice play, but <sighs> not gonna find it. Oh, he doesn't have Basher. Okay, I'm so used to Lifestealers having Bash. Well, he doesn't have Basher. The Silencer kills X. Another plus two. 36 now. That's crazy. Not keeping up the two to one ratio they had earlier on in the game, but still very far away from the tier three as possible. 
but it is inevitable, even with the Shadow Demon helping him. The high ground push will come up on top lane. The naked racks going to be exploited. Oh, the epicenter charged up. The Burrow strike long range. The global's there. Down goes the OD, and no buybacks available. HFN sprinting away, but he's going to get zapped back into death. This as might be it. King Out plus four. I think they have lost it. Infamous take them down in one fell swoop. A five man team wipe as Infamous have taken game. game number three. GG is called. And the Peruvians will win the American qualifiers here for WESG. Oh, wow. Actually, didn't expect that coming in. That's such a strong showing.